What's up, Flick Connection? This is Darren, here to help you get more out of movies, and today, I'm gonna give you my picks of the week. So on Netflix this week, I recommend a couple of things that have been recently added, and that is uh, Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Uh, I really liked that one when it came out. I'm a big fan of Guillermo del Toro. It get, kind of gets forgotten about a little bit, but it's it's super epic. It's got some incredible sequences in it. Is it as good as the first Hellboy? Not really, but it's still really good. As far as like just an epic, all-out, good, big-budget movie, Hellboy is one of the best ones. Current, Hellboy 2 is one of the best ones currently on Netflix. And another one is The Bourne Ultimatum. I was not a huge fan of that franchise, and not for any particular reason. Like, I'm not hating on it for at all. I just, I don't know, it just didn't stick with me as much, but I really did like The Bourne Ultimatum. I thought it was really well done. The action sequences were great. Uh, the director, Paul Greengrass, I felt like that was when he was really hitting his stride. And then he went on to do, you know, Captain Phillips. He, he's done a lot of really good movies, and he really... People complain about that shaky cam thing that he does, but he does a very, very good job with it. There are multiple videos on, on YouTube where you can kind of watch how uh, uh, film students pick apart, like how beautifully edited some of those fight sequences are. They're not just a mess like those types of sequences usually are in movies where they're just, you can't tell what's going on, you just know people are getting hit. It, they're really expertly crafted, and even though the camera's shaking, it adds to the chaos, but you're getting information every single cut. They're really, really sharp. So go back and watch that one. I know I'll be watching it. We got Amazon. I like to recommend stuff on Amazon. The Florida Project, starring Willem Dafoe, uh, is one of the better movies of 2017. It's currently available. The cool thing about Amazon Prime, I've talked about this before, is producing really nice beautiful art films they've been nominated for academy awards moonlight was an amazon project uh and they're releasing them in theaters they're winning awards they have a little blu-ray run a little rental run and then about two months after they drop on blu-ray maybe three they're available to prime members so the florida project is one of those and i've recommended this one on the channel before but i really can't recommend it enough and that's manhunter directed by michael mann uh i'll be brief since i've kind of labored over this one i just need there's other stuff, but I just want to make sure if you didn't get my Manhunter recommendation, uh, Michael Mann directed a movie based on the book uh, in the, the first book in the series uh, that involves Hannibal Lecter. Now, Hannibal Lecter is in this movie, played by Brian Cox. It's a very small role. Uh, later on, they remade this story and called it Red Dragon, which I believe is the title of the book. And it had uh, uh, Edward Norton in it. Anthony Hopkins was Hannibal Lecter. He had more of a role, so it's different. This one's cool. It's got that cool 80s Michael Mann vibe. It's really chilling. Like the... the, the uh, aftermath of the murders is really really it's it, it's very visceral so i highly recommend checking that one out on hulu there's one i watched recently it's called dave made a maze now you might have seen the previews you might not have i recommend hunting this one down if you like quirky little uh indie movies that's not usually the type of stuff that i'm recommending on this channel but this one was fun Go into it with very low expectations, and you're going to enjoy it. But it's basically about a guy that builds a maze in his living room out of cardboard. But if you watch the trailer, uh, it just looks like a box. It looks like a box with pipes and stuff coming out of it. It's just a cardboard box. But when you go inside, it's huge. Full of rooms, and some friends come in to look for them, and they all get lost. Sounds crazy, and it is. And it's fairly squeaky clean. There's a little bit of adult humor, but teens can watch it. It's it's funny, fairly light. They are in danger. It's got a little bit of a, of a kind of Indiana Jones vibe in terms of like some of the references, but it's super low budget fun. I really liked it. Warrior just got added. Now, Warrior to me is one of the better uh, sports movies to have come out in the past decade. And it's really been overlooked because a lot of people just, it's like an MMA movie. You do not have to have interest in the MMA to like this movie. And that is the case with most, if not all, 
of the best sports films. Like Moneyball is a great sports related movie. You don't have to have any interest in baseball to enjoy that movie. You don't have to have any interest in MMA to enjoy Warrior. But uh, Tom Hardy really just turned into a monster for this movie. Uh, uh, Joel Edgerton's in it. They're brothers. It's based on a true story. They end up having to fight in the ring. It's really fantastic. It's really well done. So I highly recommend watching that or re-watching it because I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. HBO, the Lego Ninja movie just dropped. It just released. Uh, the, one of the best ones you can watch for family. Just like the other Lego movies, it's funny for adults, entertaining for kids. Is it as good as Lego Batman? No but it is one of the better recent releases on HBO. And then for an oldie but a goodie that they just uh, re-released on HBO, Dead Calm. This one is not for the kids. A lot of you have probably seen it, but if you somehow like missed Dead Calm or maybe you're in your 20s and you sort of missed it, uh, it's time to check it out. Young, super young, young Nicole Kidman. Uh, uh, Billy Zane is a complete monster in this one. It's about a couple out on a, a sailboat. They pick up a, a stranded guy, and it is just a nightmare ensues. It's really, really good, really creepy. Make sure you're watching this one long after the kids go to bed, and there's no chance of them walking in on you because there's this one's. Th this is a gr this is a big boy movie. Rentals. So this week, uh, I'm dropping this on Monday. On Tuesday, the only thing new out is Fifty Shades. I'm not recommending Fifty Shades, so I'm actually going to recommend one from last week since this is my first show and I didn't do one of these last week. I'm going to recommend Den of Thieves. The reason I'm recommending this is because I had low to no expectations for this movie. It just looked like another. It almost looked like one of those little action movies that probably should have gone straight to streaming and didn't. Uh, that was just going to be kind of half-ass. It's not. Now, it didn't get good ratings, and I suspect, I thought this when I got towards the end, that it's, it's good enough that there were, I read it in the reviews, th there's been some comparisons to Michael Mann's Heat to bring him up again for the 50th time in the last couple of weeks. I promise it's like probably my last Michael Mann reference for a while. But they were referencing him in the reviews saying, this isn't as good as Heat. Well... It deserves to be compared to Heat. Like, it's good enough to be compared to it. Now, it's not nearly as good, but that puts it way above any kind of straight-to-streaming movie. So, I was pleasantly surprised by this. It's got some interesting twists. You'll see some of it coming, but it's solid. It's got some solid shootouts. It's got a solid heist uh, story to it. It's a cool movie. I liked it a lot. I recommend that. That's my pick of the week for a rental if you're going to spend a few bucks. And then in the theater, this one's not going to get a super wide release, but it's another week uh, uh, day for theatrical releases. And I think that's because uh, studios expected uh, Infinity War to continue to dominate the box office and they didn't want to put any, any other like prize movies in there to compete just yet. But Revenge looks like a really cool movie. Uh, I didn't even realize uh, Shudder is one of the sponsors of some of our videos, not this video, but uh, they are behind it. So it's, it looks grim, it looks crazy. It looks like it's about a group of guys that take one of their mistresses out to the desert to like hunt her for sport, and she like kind of flips it and comes back at them. It looks crazy. So if you're into some of the darker, more twisted stuff that I recommend on a regular basis, and you gotta go to the theater to see a new, new release, that would be the one to see if it's out near you. So that is that. That is how I'm going to recommend uh, picks. If you like that format, let me know in the comments below. So this segment was actually taken from my pseudo live show that I've just started doing. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to that. I say pseudo live because it's not actually live, but it's a full live recording where I'm not editing. I'm not adding clips in like I did on this video. Uh, if you want that raw, full version, I talk about a lot more than I did in this one, definitely check it out. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, do thumbs down it because I'm trying to determine if that format is something I want to stick with. Uh, I will keep making these videos as long as you keep watching them. But thanks for watching this one, and you will see me next time.